All right, boys, it is patch day. Let's go over the old little gridiron notes here. We'll have some content on here uh, later to talk about kind of what's going on with the new updates gameplay-wise. want to just jump right in real quick. Congratulations to Henry. Five-time is is absolutely insane. I believe he's the best man player ever. Uh, we've never seen something like this before, and he just continues to set the bar super high. Two belts in Madden 23, two belts in Madden 22, and then obviously the Madden 21. So I think he's I think he's actually got to be the favorite for Madden Bowl. But anyways, let's get into gameplay updates uh, real quick. Fix an issue causing the ball to be in the wrong hand on some first down celebrations and some touchdown celebrations that is a completely irrelevant fix does not do anything for me uh, if you like that that's great but nothing for me now fixed an issue causing a defensive pre-play fidget animation to move a defender into the neutral zone and cause an offside penalty that is great i'm glad you fixed that that should have already been fixed but that is great tuning to the angles and distances at which oncoming defenders will be detected as applying pressure on the quarterback during the throw the tuning done to pressure detection is with the intent of decreasing the likelihood of getting an under pressure inaccurate pass when attempting to throw the ball quickly versus the blitz. I actually really like this change. I, I 100% love this change. Um, hopefully, we're getting to a place where Fearless can come off of our players, but really, everyone was running Fearless, so you weren't getting a ton of this anyway. Tuning to reduce catch chance for non-ability receivers attempting ag catches in traffic. Hopefully, this means that ags are tuned down. If you look at the dev note here, it says, this tuning is meant to decrease the frequency of successful aggressive catches in traffic when using the receivers without aggressive catch abilities. Now, this right here is a key phrase. What this kind of means to me is if you have deep out elite or deep in elite, that is going to start to play a factor into your ability to catch one-on-one -on -one ags which is okay, I'm okay with that. Um, hopefully we're gonna have to test all this out and see, hopefully these ags have been tuned down significantly. Now, uh, tuning to reduce catch chances for defenders attempting to catch throw out of sack passes behind the line of, line of scrimmage. So what this tells me is that D-line picks are, are going to hopefully be tuned down a little bit. I am all for that. I 100% believe that. Um, literally, a defensive lineman can catch the ball better than cornerbacks in this game, and this definitely needs to change, in my opinion. So I'm glad to see this. It looks like hopefully EA is going to save Madden 23 with this patch. Like, this is good stuff. Fixed an issue that was heavily penalizing defenders when attempting to catch tip passes in traffic. Oh, this is a big deal. Okay, defenders catch chance is globally reduced when considered to be in traffic to reflect the difficulties of securing a catch alongside other players. This change will reduce the amount of penalty applied when the ball has already been tipped or knocked up into the air to give defenders a better chance at intercepting tip balls. I think this, combined with some of the stuff that they said earlier about aggressive catching, should help significantly with the ag meta, which is great, which is great, because we're getting to a point in the year where you can beat man coverage, cover zero coverage, you can beat that coverage, right? You don't have to rely on ags to beat it. Now, the question is, and we haven't seen anything in here about zone coverage being improved. I think main coverage you're going to see is not going to – we'll just kind of have to monitor that. But generally speaking, some of the bugginess, like the ags and the D-line picks and, you know, being able to ag and uh, being able to ag, right, and being able to just kind of ag, you know, that is hopefully, uh, hopefully fixed. Fixed a rare issue leading to an incorrect spotting of the ball when a player would perform a standing celebration following an interception. Good. Great. General stability improvements. They might as well delete this. Uh, I don't know why they put that in there. Uh, franchise mode. I'm not going to cover too much of this. Like, I think there's a lot of issues with franchise mode. So hopefully they fixed it. But I don't think they did. Um, so anyway, uh, team has made progress on restoring backups. We're targeting early next week to restore the leagues that could be recovered. That's the key word there. I believe that it was like 70% or something couldn't be recovered. Um, so that's just, that's just terrible. So I feel really bad for franchise players. Um, this is like two years in the making. Hopefully they're going to get this right. Um, at the end of the day, we all want to main, we all want to play Madden. We all want to play Madden. We want to play Madden. We want Madden to work. Um, that's what I want. That's what you want. And so hopefully they're, taking steps to get there right um they didn't have anything in here about blitzes so we're gonna have to test those blitzes every every patch um for those of you who don't know i have a ebook site patreon.com links in the description that's where you get access to all my uh ebooks every time every single time there's a patch we go through 
and look through and make sure that all of the blitzes, all the schemes that we've put in the Patreon still work. If they don't, we'll update it or um, we'll release you something new. We're planning to release a brand new offensive ebook later, uh, probably tomorrow, and we're working on another defense. So some of this is going to see how the blitzes are post-patch and how the coverage is post-patch. This right here, the biggest deal right here, I think, this one and this one, I think, can very well put this game in a really good spot. The question is going to be, how are the blitzes post-patch? And that's something that we don't know, but something that we're going to monitor. And then obviously season three is here uh, for Mutt. So, yeah, get Ron, Rob Gronkowski. Um, I don't know that that's going to be that good of an item, to be honest, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, so that is, uh, that's the gameplay updates, what you need to know right now. This is what you need to know right now. We're going to get in the lab, test some of this stuff out, and we'll have videos up to say, show you what's kind of been tweaked or changed. So really excited about, always love patch day. Patch day is super exciting just to see if they've actually tweaked some stuff in the meta or if it's all the same. But judging by this, there's actually some really good changes in here. So I'm optimistic. So um, if you want to get all my eBooks, Patreon is linked in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll have more content later. Make sure to subscribe if you're not. And uh, we'll see you guys later today with more uh, videos on the patch.